I'm Ella Beth Crawford and uh, I go to uh, East Mott High School. I'm a sophomore this year. The play is a murder mystery ab about a group of people who get snowed into a guest house and there is a murderer among them and they have to figure out who it is before too many people get killed. Uh, my name is Ken Cinco, and you could probably classify me as the technical director for the auditorium here at the high school. These kids are amazing. They do things constantly that surprise me and astound me and make me so very proud that I can be part of this program with them. Uh, my name is Rowan Kapler, and I attend Eastmont High School. So I play the detective in uh, our play, The Mousetrap. Yeah, I think that in order to get into character, I think that I mostly just I don't know, I give him this kind of just serious kind of mentality, very methodical, like, okay, I need to ask them this, 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 very in order. Like, he goes into it having a plan. So my name's Hannah Blank, and I attend Eastmont High School. I previously worked, like, as a tech, so trying to sort of work through some of that and teaching our new techs how to mic with masks was definitely difficult. Um, you have to project more than normal and just trying to be like spatially aware on the stage to try and maintain dis distancing and like no contact and stuff like that was definitely some challenges we ran into along the way. My name is Amelia Foreman. I go to Eastmont High School. The thing with Molly is, is she's like, she's probably the most in-depth character I've ever played. Um, she's got a lot more like emotions than most characters I've played. Um, and how I really connected with her is I just related to a lot of experiences she had um, with a lot of experiences like I've had. Obviously I've never witnessed a murder, but I mean like connecting to the death of like loved ones, you know, things like that um, really helped me like connect to this character. I got to watch a lot of the actors grow from not knowing their lines to being able to deliver their lines smoothly along with remembering their blocking, which was really cool. Certainly Agatha Christie did a good job of writing it so that every person is suspicious. Everybody's a red herring. There are certainly some that are a little more suspicious than others, but we had to work really hard to like read our body language and carefully articulate it so that at one point all of us were under suspect. And that was kind of something that we went through from the very beginning as soon as we were off book. It was like learning about our body language to be able to sort of like trick the audience, which I think is kind of cool for this particular mystery. Uh, I'm Amber Warren and I attend Eastmont High School. I was part of the sound booth, which take care, takes care of all the lighting and sound design for the show. Coming from somebody who wasn't really interested in tech originally, I would highly suggest it to anyone. I know that a lot of people kind of back away because it's not like the main production, but after going into it, you meet so many people who are all incredible and so skilled, and you really couldn't do a production without those people. And I will always appreciate the tech people behind shows even more than I did because it's it's a lot of work. I'm Audrey Slagle. I attend Eastmont High School. Even if you don't like being on stage, there's a lot of other ways you can help out with the performance. We have a ton of backstage crew members that really do a lot and they help the performance come alive even if they're not under the spotlight themselves. Reaction was initially tepid, kind of, you know, cautious. And then once they actually got here, got the club moving and got to a production, just the sheer joy. I mean, it's like, think of meeting your long lost family you haven't seen in years and they're back together and they can do what they love doing.